Well, that wraps up another great month. You all did a terrific job. Now, the next point on the agenda is looking at uh, next month's travel schedule. Now, we've got a lot of conferences coming up, and I took the liberty of putting together a preliminary itinerary. So let's look at that. Let's get it all confirmed so we can get all the logistics worked out. Uh, Paul, I've got a question about the Corpus Christi dates. Uh, yes, uh, Lucy and I are going to Corpus Christi. You and Rebecca are going to Newark at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. I spoke with you last month about Corpus Christi. I told you I wanted that trip, and you said that you'd make sure I'd get primary consideration on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just don't recall that conversation. We talked about it at the planning meeting last month. It's in my notes. I didn't say it didn't happen. I just said that I don't recall. Well, we can reassign it. I really want to go on that trip, Paul. Well, Corpus is a very important conference. Which is precisely why she'd like to be assigned to that one. This conference would be great for my career. I've set up meetings with potential clients that are going to be there. I've been tweaking the marketing strategy to fit the conference attendees. I've been doing a lot of work, Paul. And I also told you that my family lives in Houston and is planning to drive down and spend a week in Corpus. Well, it's, you, you wouldn't have had a lot of time. My evenings would be free. I haven't had a vacation in a long time. I haven't seen my family in over a year. But that's not the issue. I've paid my dues. I'm ready for a conference like this. I understand, but I still think it would be better if you did Newark. I don't think this is fair. I've taken a lot of second-rate trips, Paul. I've never asked you for a specific conference, and I put in for this one a month ago. Look, <laughs> I cannot make decisions based upon where people have family. I mean, I can't function under that kind of criteria. Yeah, I've been wondering what kind of criteria you have been using. I don't have time to go into all of that with you. I don't have to explain my rationale for every decision that I make. I don't have the time or the inclination. One trip, Paul. Are you ready to challenge me on this? Send me wherever you want to. Make sure to get me a list of those potential clients you put together. That's a fine way to treat the best you got. Good talk, boss. What is that supposed to mean? Wow, that was not pretty. <laughs> ah, they'll live. They just keep forgetting who's the boss. <laughs> they don't like the way I handle things, they know what they can do. For a minute there, I thought we'd have to cancel the whole thing. Be a shame to lose the suite in that conference hotel. Oh, oh, they sent me a brochure, and the hotel is right on the ocean. It is so beautiful. <laughs> well, Corpus, here we come. <laughs> I want to know what's going on. I don't understand what you mean. I mean that since our relationship has taken on a more professional tone, I feel like I'm being taken out of the loop. That's not true. It's just I can't give you preferential treatment because we used to date. You gave me preferential treatment while we were dating. And anyway, I'm not asking for preferential treatment. I just don't want my status to change just because our relationship has. It hasn't. I think it has. Are you sure this is about work? What do you think? I think you're not happy because we've stopped seeing each other. Don't flatter yourself. Since we broke up, I've been getting second-rate assignments, and this new woman that you've brought in here is getting the work that I'm supposed to be doing. You're jealous. Well, I'm not jealous. I just want what's fair, that's all. Maybe, maybe I'm missing the whole point. Maybe what we had between us wasn't anything at all. Maybe it was just an opportunity for you to exercise some power and influence over me. No, 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 wait a minute. You know that's not true. Really? How do I know that? How do I know that for certain? You know. It would explain a lot of what's going on around here. You're deliberately trying to twist this around. It depends on how you look at it. I wonder how the EEOC would see it. <laughs> 